Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my instructional videos. Today we're going to do a radiator swap after a uh, mishap with the belts and uh, having been driven for 20 miles without the belts being on the water pump, um, the radiator was fouled. So in turn, uh, after I put the belt on, the radiator busted. And so here I am doing a radiator swap. Um, first things first, we're going to do is uh, make sure the engine's cold and I turn that pet cock down there to release all the coolant that's in the, the radiator. The radiator on this car, this particular car, has a 5 8 8 inch radiator. You can do that by measuring the core here to here, which comes with the 5 8 I paid $160 for AutoZone, but you can get it cheaper for about 60 bucks with their one-year warranty online with free, free delivery to the house. Um, and I'm also going to do a, a radiator back flush. I've uh, been doing that for the longest time. and You can pick up one of these kits for around 4 bucks at, uh, at O'Reilly. You need to connect this to the heater hose. Um, and in that case, it's going to be the lower hose that's coming out from the firewall here. The one at the bottom. It snakes all the way around to here. This hose. This hose right there. It goes in the top of the engine block. The other hose, which started at the top, is now at the bottom. That snakes around to the thermostat, which is all, also something I'm going to change. Um, I was going to change out the, wa the water pump, um, which is probably the best thing to do, but I don't want to waste my money there, um, you know, exchanging a, a perfectly good water pump. Because I don't see anything leaking out from the weep hole here. So it tells me that the water pump is good. The only thing I'm concerned about is this glazing on the on the bearing hub, uh, which leads me to believe maybe the, the pump had seized, and um, that's what caused the belt to break. Um, oh, and there's the the nut that you need to push forward on the tensioner uh, bearing to get this thing going. Um, on this car, it was much, much harder than it was on the Highlander. Um, it was definitely a two-man job in this car. On my Highlander, I did it myself um, a couple times. Um, so anyhow, release the uh, petcock, and then we're going to proceed uh, dismantling the radiator and uh, I'll show you the steps to that later on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 